Listen guys, we all thought about it. Some of us still think about it. And as a man of the people, I'm gonna prove to you that it is possible. So, for the next seven days, I'll be trying scientific methods to increase length down there. Welcome to the measurement. This is by far the weirdest thing I have ever had to do for a YouTube video. This is very invasive. Ladies and gentlemen, let the games begin. I may or may not be struggling here. I just have performance anxiety right now. Let's give this a second try. Well, apparently things are a lot smaller than the normal measuring tool, my iPhone. When you measure in inches, it's just humbling. Now, by the end of this video, I will be revealing all of my measurements. So make sure you stay tuned because you are gonna find things out that you wish you never knew. Let the games begin. Sup, girl? Things will be different by day seven, I promise. I launched a poll on my Instagram asking, are you self-conscious about your Johnson size? And while the answers rolled in, I wanted to get the opinion of women and ask them how much size really matters. What percent of men do you think are insecure about their Johnson? 80%. 85%? 55%. 69%. 69%, okay, her mind is somewhere else right now, all right. Do you think some men should be insecure about it? Depends how you work it. You know, motion of the ocean, that size of the wave. So what's a minimum and a maximum size that you would prefer? I even got a ruler. <laughs> Let's go like five and a half. Like three to seven. The minimum has to be at least five. What's the largest? Nine, maybe. Nine? Probably like eight. Like that's eight. Like gigantic. With the answers from these women clearly showing that there is a minimal size that's required, and over 30% of my followers were saying that they're insecure about their Johnson, I had all the motivation I needed to conduct this experiment. Good morning, my weenie warriors. It's time to get to business. And I wanna make sure that all these methods that I'll be trying are safe and backed by science. Step one, we need to be in a caloric deficit because the leaner you are, the more we're gonna reveal the willy. And just when I think that I've escaped dieting, I'm back at it again because you need more length on the Johnson. Step two, aphrodisiac foods, such as pumpkin seeds, pomegranate seeds, bananas, avocado, chocolate, spinach, and salmon. And there's one more, oysters, but I'll slurp anything. Step number three, heavy training. Step four, daily sauna, because we wanna increase that growth hormone and also get the blood flowing. Step numero cinco, supplementation. The supplements I'll be taking is the secret supplement. Sigma by Gorilla, a natural testosterone booster. And then lastly, a fish oil pill. It's always good for you. I'm not gonna tell you what's in this one because I don't want you replicating what I'm doing. I am a scientist and this is an educational experiment. Which is basically me telling you that this is not medical advice. Do not do what I do and talk to a medical professional just like I have. Now, I don't know if this secret pill makes me unnatural, but let's check in with someone who does. Hey, Greg, does taking make me unnatural. It is a performance enhancing drug, but it's not a bad performance enhancing drug. Just like caffeine, caffeine is a drug. It's not bad, you can take it and improve your performance both in the gym and in the bedroom. All right, first workout with aphrodisiacs in my system and the magic special pill. My speculation is that I'm not gonna see a difference until tomorrow. Let's find out. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't want to believe it, but I actually have like the most insane pump. But I can only imagine if my muscles feel this way, what else is gonna feel that way? Now, every single night, I will be using the Pump 3000. I'm gonna let you use your imagination for that one. No, I am not breastfeeding. Just know that I'll be considering this my exercise. Guys, the device is in this box. Let's get pumping, baby. Okay, I'm not actually gonna film myself doing this. I'm just gonna, you, you'll just hear me in the bathroom probably doing it. So enjoy the visual representation of what's happening. Okay, that was one of the most scary and unique experiences of my life. Don't know if I did it wrong, but it definitely kinda hurt. And uh, we're gonna leave it at that. All right, started off my morning feeling like an absolute champion. I rolled out of bed at only 180 pounds, which is three pounds down in one day. So that's at least like an eighth of an inch added to the Johnson. I had my aphrodisiacs for breakfast, 
and my supplements along with the magic pills that I also oh love so much. Not too shabby with only one day of progress. But we have a lot to do for today's protocol, so let's get the day going. Today I'm gonna be lifting extra heavy. Now you might be wondering why I'm choosing to lift heavier compared to light weights. Well, heavy weight lifting is proving to raise testosterone. So I'm gonna be doing sets of five to eight reps trying to focus on power and just getting as strong as possible while doing as much of a load as possible. The bigger the load, the better. Am I right, boys? Okay, does anyone else relate to this? That once you start working out and the blood flow is no longer down there, it's literally up in your arms or it's in your legs and you're just like a little, a mini like baby turtle in a turtle shell. Does anyone ever, am I the only one? Maybe I am the only one, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, the magic pill that I've been taking is giving me as big of a pump as injectable pre-workout did. If you want blood flow somewhere, it goes there and it gets big. Bro, I just can't wait for day seven. This is gonna be insane. Okay, one of the biggest tips, honestly, it's not even scientific, it's more just logical, is shaving. Picture someone in a big bush. Now picture someone in a small bush. You can see more of the person in the smaller bush. Do, do you guys catch on what I'm saying here? This should be your friend. Just be careful. I'm sure you can imagine what would happen. One thing that I have realized is that when I'm not per se excited, it seems to be that things are smaller than usual. But if I'm excited, well then things, we're seeing progress. Chocolate is an aphrodisiac and I'm gonna be having it before bed. Will you have chocolate with me for a second? See, this is the problem. I have all the aphrodisiacs. She's not having any. I don't need those yet. I need you to film a TikTok with me. Uh-huh. Gotta go. Film a TikTok. <laughs> Gotta go. Okay, so far the results, well, I don't actually have any yet. 180.1. The routine must continue. Daily pump. Ow! Check. I don't know if I'm doing this exercise thing wrong, but it is quite painful. I don't think we're supposed to have any damage down there. We're supposed to treat our boys with gentle care. Looking down, it does not look like it should ever be doing this exercise. I'm not gonna lie, this has me a little worried. That can't be healthy. Daily supplements, check. Heavy lift, ah! check. Sauna, we are deep in the sauna. We're rocking 30 minutes. This is where men are separated from boys. 30 minutes in the sauna is said to improve growth hormone by five fold. It's like we're in overtime, we gotta keep pushing. It's that mindset, baby, let's go. Check. By day three, I wasn't truly satisfied with the results I was seeing this far. I think it's time to try some different strategies. Now there are a lot of studies about sunning your Johnson. The boys have never seen the sun, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a bit nervous that this is not good for you. Okay, here we go. Pants are off. So this is definitely new. The boys are just enjoying the sun. We are gonna get some more size. That's that's kind of my logic here. And the worst weird tactic of them all, oysters. I do not like oysters. Bro, that is the ugliest and grossest thing I've ever seen in my life at all. All right, guys, I'm about to do something that I'm gonna regret, so please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to five million by the end of the year. I know it sounds insane, but I think we can do it, all right? I believe in the power of the relentless community. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty good. But after a long day of different strategies, I went out with my girlfriend and we hit some balls. This is me a few days ago. This is me now. I think you get it. Bombs away, baby. Hey. <laughs> I hit that so far. Day four of this whole entire experiment. Today is a little bit different. First of all, woke up feeling very good, looking good, and also downstairs. I'm a little worried. I don't think these are working exactly to the full degree that they can. I noticed a difference in the gym. I got a better pump. Downstairs, maybe a little bit of help, but like, to be honest, not enough. So we're gonna be doing two of these today. Am I a little nervous? Definitely, <laughs> but hey, no risk, no reward. All right, listen, we've got double the substances, which means we should have double the pump. Conducting more research, I discovered something called BDE. Do you know what BDE is? Yes. Yes. Big 
Johnson Energy. But I didn't know if any girls were aware of this, so I asked a few. What makes BDE like BDE? They always tell me the truth, so let's see what they have to say about BDE. Usually it's the tall and skinny ones. That is a fact. Can you tell the size of a man's Johnson by their BDE? No. No, not at all. Have you been surprised before? Yes, and not in a good way. So let's say you don't expect it, and then it's it's got some, you know, length there. I pray. <laughs> Do I have more BDE lately? No. The ones that have BDE are the ones that don't act like they have anything at all. Yeah. So all in all, I don't have more BDE lately. No. I'm not gonna lie, after this encounter, I was feeling a bit discouraged. I woke up today just feeling super off and unhappy with what I was doing. Ugh, okay, so this morning I woke up feeling just off and slow to the day. Like I just don't have the motivation that I normally have. Don't have the pep in my step. I ate my aphrodisiacs in the morning. I stuck to the routine, but something just, something wasn't right. <sighs> I'm literally using different weights. What the fuck? I just caught myself feeling more agitated than usual. This is FNA and for the This is Finastride. And for the and for the next night, this is Finastride. And for the next sorry. This is Finastride. No no me. This is Fina Oh my god, bro. Get it right. Come on. Alright. Well, clearly I am just an idiot and can't speak, so I am not gonna do this right now. Whoever's editing this, if I need to reshoot any of today's content, just let me know. I don't know why, but today feeling very just off. Yes, I was frustrated. Yes, I was obsessing over the uncontrollable, but I'm a born athlete. It might be the weirdest and most toxic challenge I've ever done to this day, but I'm not giving up, not yet. I'm very well aware that this sounds over dramatic, but I'm a very passionate person, I'm sorry. After my final workout, I was ready to try one final tactic, an IV. Okay, so in the IV bag, we even have basically what I took for injectable pre-workout. So what this is gonna do is just fuel my body to have bigger pumps, bigger blood flow, and overall more, let's just say, size to every part of my body, my arms, my leg, and anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, the final day, the final weigh-in. Now before I reveal my before and after measurements, which scientific methods actually work? How much weight did I lose? We started off at about 183. We are now 179.5. Let's go! So in theory, I have technically gained a little under a quarter of an inch down there. So I'll take it as a win. The calorie deficit works. Aphrodisiacs most definitely work and my girlfriend definitely wants them out of my diet because I have been harassing her a little too much. As far as exercising goes, this thing probably worked the most out of every single exercise and practice, but not ideal every day. In all my life, I've used an iPhone to measure, but this time we're doing it more accurate. We're using a tape measure. It is time for the final measure. Ladies and gentlemen, we started this challenge off with let's just say six donuts. And after doing many, many days of exercise, resilient routine, and so much more, we now can say that we have increased the amount of donuts, not by one donut, not by half a donut, but only a quarter of a donut. Okay guys, I'm not enough playing around. So my actual size is six. Okay, listen, this video is clearly quite idiotic. Focus on the real things in life, focus on making money, making relationships, making gains, and overall, just staying relentless. Peace.